So I go through all the statistics. I mentioned 354 wins, more than 4,600 strikeouts, seven Cy Young awards. No one will ever, I mean, that's, that's probably a record that will stand for all time. Why are you not in the Hall of Fame? Well, writers vote on it. Right. <laughs> so. Well, you know what I'm asking about. So seven, seven consecutive ballots. Your percentage of the vote each year has gone up. I think this last year right. when you were not voted in, you got just below 60%. You're eligible for three more years. You've got to get to 75. Okay. It may be that you don't get in. Now, the only thing I can think of is that people have decided, despite what you've said, despite what the court said, despite that you had no failed drug tests, you had yep. no suspensions, yep. people think that you use performance-enhancing drugs and they won't vote you into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, Am not, I wrong to think that? Well, you, you are if you're looking at facts, but I can't control, like I said, they asked me about the Hall. I, can't, I have no, zero control over that. Yeah. Number two is I didn't really play the game to worry about making the Hall of Fame. After my first that wasn't years, the point. Yeah. So after my first couple of years, um, the first couple of years I was wanting to make a living, and, and I saw that I could make a great living for me and my family. Right. After that, it was about winning championships. But as far as the voting goes, I tell the guys that vote for you, that's great. Um, in my situation, what I did, I, I, we, we went at it the proper way. Um, like I said, it was the, the stuff that I went through was similar to what uh, Kavanaugh and all this stuff I see that goes on now with Trump and Kavanaugh and all this other stuff, but it was pretty much a circus. And it was great that we stopped a couple guys from making money off my name. They were out there saying, claiming they were this or that. They did this for me. They did that for me. And they had book deals and they sold my name to a vitamin company for 300 grand, but nobody ever writes about that. But we wanted about it the right way, and we handled it properly. You, you know, if you've, I been, have, you've been adamant from the very beginning. The yeah. accusations that were made, yeah. the Mitchell report, that's right. And the individuals who made those accusations, your statement from the very beginning was, "I yeah, didn't there, do it." But there was only one individual, and they right. went. We gave them everything that they wanted, and right. we went through it. It was pretty trying. Not only, like I said, if I didn't have the my my boys and family and sisters and brothers, they were really upset about it all. Right, and. But we handled it the proper way, and like I tell people, if it happens, if they want to vote, it doesn't really matter to me either way, like I said. It's not yeah. something that I play for. The guys that look at the facts and do it all is great, um, but uh, you have zero control over it, like I said. I think that uh, uh, there, for me, the Hall of Fame, when somebody says, hey, he's a Hall of Famer, there, it's, it's kind of a selfish thing. There would be so many people I need to thank, including all the catchers I talked about earlier, uh, players that I played with, um, man, there's just, it's, it's, it's like I said, not only your family and people that helped you get there, but uh, again, the guys that I've been talking people to. People who never week. get the credit. Right. That's right. They'll yeah. never have a chance to be in the Hall right. of Fame, but they were Hall of Famers to me because they were fantastic teammates of mine.